a round of applause to you for checking out this podcast on you need to try these healthy, nutritious dog treats called Fruitables. Hi there, I'm Janine Smith, canine educator and canine consultant for EduPups, and I would like to endorse this wonderful dog treat. Well, hello there. I hope by now you've had a chance to check out the podcast on seeking the holy grail of healthy, nutritious dog food. This podcast is connected because it is seeking the healthy dog treats for your puppy. Please think about what's in the dog treats that you feed your dog. Marketing can really influence us and make us think, oh, that sounds so delicious. That looks so appealing. But then you check out what's in the actual treat. Most of them are junk food filled with preservatives, chemicals, and less than natural healthy ingredients. There is no regulation of what is put in dog food or dog treats, which is a little scary. So after trying various treats for years, even making my own, I've settled on two treats, two types of treats, which work really well for my dogs. One is naturally freeze-dried liver, It is very nutritious. Organ meat is fantastic for your pups, but it is very rich, so I use it sparingly. My go-to treats, the ones that I use for training and just for general rewards, are made by a company called Fruitables. So why did I settle on these particular treats? The ones I really love are from their baked line. Well, first of all, I love the ingredients. I can understand what they all are. They're only eight calories, which is a factor with dogs like Goldens who live to eat, and especially spayed Goldens. And my dogs love them, so it seems like a win-win. They also contain really healthy vegetables and fruits, superfoods that we really should be feeding our dogs. So I don't feel guilty at all about giving them some treats here and there. The ingredients for the baked pumpkin and apple and the pumpkin and blueberry are... Pumpkin, oats, barley, potatoes, apple pumice, sunflower oil, cane molasses, cinnamon, natural apple or blueberry flavors, vanilla, mixed to cofrols, which is a preservative, you have to have something, rosemary extract, green tea extract, and spearmint. The big thing for me is how do my dogs react to these treats. And I'm not talking about that they love them, but I'm talking about their digestive tract. How do they work for them? A lot of treats that I have tried cause soft stools, diarrhea, gas, and bad breath. These are great. The pumpkin here really seems to help, so they're very easy to digest. The ingredients is a limited number of ingredients, and they're all good for your dog. I learned about this company years ago when I was switching between various kibbles as I was on my healthy quest for food. They made something called Switch, which I don't think they call it that anymore, but it is a canned super blend of a digestive supplement for dogs and cats. And I remember when I was playing around with different kibbles, it really helped settle their gut. I find these treats do the same thing. I'm also happy that this company sources ingredients USA Globally Sound, is cruelty-free, and contains, like I said, superfoods, various fruits and vegetables that are really good for our pups. My personal favorite is definitely the pumpkin and blueberry. When you open the package, you can smell the blueberries. I also use pumpkin and apple, pumpkin and cranberry, and crispy bacon and apple. I've recently tried the pumpkin and banana, huge fan, dogs love it, and it suits their GI tract just fine. I found that normal size, the eight calorie treats work best for me. It's just enough of a bite for a larger dog. I do follow the 10% rule, which is only 10% of my dog's nutritional intake is treats. The rest is their actual food. So please think about that. It's a really good rule. I thought it'd be cool to look on the Fruitables website so I could tell you about some of their other lines besides the baked treats that I am such a huge fan of. I noticed they've won a lot of awards. 
the one that stuck out to me was that the pumpkin and blueberry, my personal fave, was voted best dog treats in 2023 by People Magazine. I learned the treats are safe for puppies and kittens after they move to solid food. They have one line which isn't great for large dogs, but it's great for puppies, kittens, and smaller dogs. They're called the Skinny Minis. They're only three calories, they're soft, and they come in yummy flavors like apple and bacon, pumpkin and mango, pumpkin and berry, rotisserie chicken, grilled bison, watermelon, and pumpkin spice. I tried them with my dogs and they looked at me like, lady, what are these things? They're microscopic. I need at least five, please. So I'm sticking with the baked ones. The opposite end of the spectrum from the Skinny Minis is a baked treat they have called their Biggies. These are just like the treats I use, but they're four to five times as big. They're almost like your handful. They're 40 calories each. They come in almond butter and coconut, crispy bacon and apple, peanut butter and banana, and pumpkin and blueberry. I've tried a couple of these with my dogs and they flip over them because they, it's just so much to chew and they just love them. But I really need to watch the weight of my girls. So the smaller size just works better for me. Two other lines that I have not used that they offer are a yogurt line and a jerky line. In their yogurt line, they have Fruitables Greek in three flavors, coconut, vanilla, and strawberry. They also have Fruitables Yogos in blueberry and strawberry vanilla. These are all about 26 calories. I'm holding off on them because they have mixed reviews. Some dogs found them too difficult to digest. Again, kind of missing that pumpkin, which I love. And they contain chickpeas, which is not my favorite ingredient for dogs. The whole jerky treats come in bacon and apple and turkey and sweet potato. They have a new flavor coming out soon, grilled bison and apple. I did try them with my dogs. They're 20 calories each. And again, the ingredients are great, but they did affect my dog's guts. Um, they did end up having softer stools. They did end up getting some uncomfortable gas. So for my guys, they're too rich. Even though I love some of the products on this website and this company, not all products are the right fit for my dogs. And the odds are you're going to have favorites too. I would tell you though, the Baked Fruitables has earned the Edupup seal of approval. They're easy to find in most pet stores and, of course, online, places like Chewy and, I assume, Amazon. I really think you should try them. They're nutritious, and your dogs will thank you. A round of applause to you for checking out this podcast. I'm Janine Smith, canine educator and canine consultant for Edupup. Pause up to you. Woof, woof.